everybody. This is Christy with AG Takes Over. Um, welcome or welcome back if you are new to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. This should be a fun video. Um, if you are not new here, you might know what's up because not too long ago, my wife Grace and I got a massive American Girl of Today lot and I opened it over the course of three videos and then I had a fourth video showing like, okay, now that we've put all the pieces of the outfits together, here's what it looks like and here's what we got. And that was so much fun. Um, and then I was like, hey, let's reach back out to that seller, even though it was kind of a, a trip to work with her for the first time or the first time around. Um, let's reach back out and see if she has anything else. And she did. So, oh God, this one's smaller, but it's a lot heavier. Um, ugh. because there are a lot of books in there. So what I will tell you before I start opening it is, um, it's a smaller lot. It costs us more. We probably will keep less out of this one, honestly, because a lot of it's historical and please don't misunderstand. We collect a lot of historical dolls, but we don't, um, typically dress them in all of their historical outfits all of the time and we don't have any of the doll rooms with the exception of like Courtney's historical um, but we don't have any of like the older historical rooms we're working on a Rebecca room actually but that's about it um, so we probably will end up selling a lot of this if you're watching it and you like historical stuff that's good news for you um, email me if you're interested in something but um, there were a lot of things, like a lot of little odds and ends in there, I think, that will help complete some of the Girl of Today outfits that we got, that we are keeping from the last lot. So it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. We'll keep some, sell some, whatever. It's all good. Um, if you have not subscribed before I dive into this, uh, please do. I just recently um, surpassed 900 and I'm getting closer to 1,000, which would be a fun milestone have a June birthday, so it'd be nice to do that before my birthday. Um, but yeah, you can hit the, the notification bell after you subscribe, and then you'll get updates whenever I post new videos, and that would be lovely. I have not looked in this, so the last lot that we got from this seller, what we did was um, Grace opened it without me looking earlier in the day, and then we came down to the basement and got in front of the dollhouse, and she's sitting right over there. Um, and I'm going to open it for the first time with you all, but uh, I haven't seen anything she has. So that's the situation. Let's dive in. An American Girl of Today bag. Back from when the outfits all came in bags. Okay, there's a little tiny piece of a like paper doll thing in there. I don't have any idea what that is, but we'll have... Hmm? There's more in here? Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Just, that might go to something else. All right. More Girl of Today hangers. This is Bitty Baby, right? Bitty Baby. Raincoat and hat. It's cute. It's in really good shape. More hangers. Ah, it's Addie Walker. If you've seen in one video, I said that my three-year-old never calls her Addie. She always calls her Addie Walker. So it's Addie Walker. Did we know that this was coming? I don't recall seeing it in pictures. Anyway, it's a glass-eyed one, and we already have a glass-eyed one. So, um, yeah, should we probably get to go join somebody else's collection. So I don't think we need a duplicate, but she's so cute. And Miss Ida Bean, we, okay, so this was not in the lot. My smart wife went and clicked to see if the lady had any other listings since we, we were told that this was the last of her AG stuff, whether it is, who knows, but it's probably the last lot we're gonna get. Um, so, she checked all of her other listings and there was one that was just like African-American dolls of no particular brand, right? Just different sizes and brands. And she spotted this girl and um, 
and just reached out and said, hey, in that listing and circled it, could you throw this in for us? We already have her, but yeah, um, she just threw her in there. So again, she's going to join somebody's collection and make them very happy. All right. Books. Lots of books. All right. Felicity's entire collection is up first. They look like nobody read them. The spines are like completely intact. They're like a little yellowed. Some of the, well, I don't know. This one has some stuff on it that may or may not come off. This one looks great. So we shall see. And these were, let's see, just looking for the year, copyright 1991. So would that be her first one? The copyright year doesn't, I don't know if it says the print year in here. First Scholastic Printing, September 1992. So, yeah. First printing. Um, we have a lot of the historical girls books. So as far as the books go, it'll be a matter of us going up and seeing if there are any that we don't have and we will keep them for ourselves. If there are duplicates, but there's like a whole box set here and we have them piecemeal, then we'll keep the box set and sell them piecemeal. <laughs> we like other collectors, but we're our, our collection first, friends. All right, next up. Girl of today, this is really cute. It says, you know this American girl, she's just like you. A genuine, one-of-a-kind original with her own story to tell. Her adventures are your adventures. Her dreams are your dreams. <laughs> so cute and cheesy. This is her moment in history and your moment too. The best moment of all for American girls to shine. It's like a political campaign. So... Um, I did a book review a little while back about the new Truly Me book that's like in um, kind of journal, like me and my doll format. I freaking love that book. I just talked to an employee the other day and said, do you know if they're going to start selling it individually? And she was like, we don't know. People ask for it all the time. At one point, we were asking people when they're buying new Truly Me's if they want the book. And if they didn't, we would just keep them behind the counter and give them to people who would ask for, you know, can I buy it separately? Because we know it's not available separately. So anyway, I did a review on that. If you're interested, go check that out at some point. Book review videos do not do well, but I don't care because if I like a book, I'm going to be excited about it. And several people pointed out, yes, they actually did something like that before. And I knew that, but um, I don't own these books. So there's Meet, The Family Story, Learn a Lesson, Learns a Lesson. They just followed the six book format that all of the earlier books did. Surprise, A Holiday Story, Happy Birthday, A Birthday Story. Saves the day, a summer story, and changes for a winter story. So I think these are adorable. Grace, do you already have a set of these? Or did you just use two? I have a set that will keep these. <laughs> she says, I have a set, but we're also keeping this set. I figured I wasn't saying we had to sell it. I just wondered if we already had one or if this was a first. We already have one, and now we have two. Um, meet Samantha. I don't know if the rest of the Samantha set is here. I don't know. I mean, we at least have this. We might have all of Samantha's. I'm not sure. All right. Next. Okay. So this I did see in pictures. It's called, it's got two names. It's like the holiday outfit and the very berry something. I don't remember, but it's an Agot outfit. In the last lot we got, we got the tights and the shoes in pristine condition. Because they didn't have this, we just went ahead and sold them. And they sold like as soon as we listed them. So what are we going to do with this partial outfit? I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to reach out to the person who bought it and who bought the other things and say, by any chance, did you want to complete the outfit? And if she says yes, then she gets first dibs. And if not, then we'll just sell it. It's very cute, but I, we have plenty of red Christmassy outfits. This one does not stand out to me personally. The... What do they call these? Just the nightgown. I don't know. Um, 
sleep sleep shirt, American Girl sleep shirt or something like that. Here's the other one. Is this one for Miss A.G. Bear? It's definitely wider. Let's see. This one might be for Miss A.G. Bear because it looks wider. We had this before, and I think the buttons being different. I feel like this one's Miss A.G. Bear. I know you're all going to answer me on the video. Um, we don't currently have this one, so we will be keeping both of them. Do we have this one already? Okay, we might have the red one. So if we have the red one, we will probably not keep a duplicate, but we I know for sure we don't have this, so we're keeping it. Miss A.G. Bear? Where are you looking? Yes? Yes. Miss A.G. Bear, she, no, no sooner the, does she get in our house than she has, like, all the things. Okay. This is... Pleasant Company, 1993. I do not know whose it is. Do you? No? By the time this airs, I will. But feel free to share in the comments because I know that a lot of you, when I do these kinds of unboxings, are playing your test your own trivia. And I'm fine. I'm here for that. Like, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Anyway, no missing buttons. Not that I would expect much in the way of snags, but like no discoloring, no staining, no anything. It needs to be ironed, but other than that, it doesn't even really smell. I mean, just like a little bit musty, but all the other stuff did too, and it aired out fine. Pleasant Company bags. These are really cute. Another Pleasant Company bag. Okay. All right. This is what we were expecting, so no no big surprises yet, other than Ida Bean was not really supposed to be part of the lot, and Addie Walker, Mini Me, or Mini Addie Walker, um, I didn't realize she was in there. So here's Kirsten's school outfit. Some of you know that the pattern changed slightly over time um, on the material, so... I'm going to put this up close so you can test your knowledge of, like, was this the first one or was this the second one? It's a division symbol. And now that from that last lot where we looked and we saw all of her, like, um, award merits, merit rewards or whatever, I'm like, yeah, of course it's a division sign. She was a good student. And then her little um, shawl. Does it say what year? Um, it says Pleasant Company 1993. Is this also Kirsten's? Huh? That's the first one with the division symbol. These are not stains. They are leaves. There we go. Perfect condition. This is a Kirsten one, right? Grace says, fairly certain. I say, fairly certain. Some of you are like, yes, yes, I know it is. I know it is. Yes, it is. We're all right. Great shape. Oh, the first one was Kirsten's house coat. Kirsten, Kirsten, you can fight it out. Um, her house coat. By the way, we will be selling all the Kirsten stuff. No hate towards Kirsten. We just... We've actually had three Kirstens. We had three at one time, and we haven't kept any of them. We had a white body Kirsten. I didn't connect to any of them, so. Aww. All right, so these are her original, I'm sure, hair ribbons. Her socks. Yep, both of them are in here. They're tucked into the um, little holes in the hanger. Urgh. Hold on. Okay, so her socks. Her summer dress, which is in perfect condition. And her whistle. I seem to recall that this maybe in some instances comes with a red thing. Um, and so a red cord is what that's called. 
Is this original that it's in a black elastic? I have no idea, but that's what it's on. Um, black elastic and the, I'll try to make sure that this zooms in. Her little whistle. Come on. There we go. Um, kind I, I kind of doubt that the hat's in here because we didn't see it in the pictures. And if it is in here, I would worry that it's going to get smashed. But if I'm wrong, I'll be happy to be wrong. Aww. This is her birthday outfit, right? I feel like this is her, um, is her birthday outfit fancier than this. No, this is it. Because we've had this little pinafore thing before. That's it? Okay. So if you haven't seen this before, I'm going to do a slow turn. Very, very, very tiny pink and white checkers. Cute little ties on the sleeves. Her... I mean, this one doesn't look as early. I may be completely wrong about that. Let me see. It doesn't look faded, but I don't see any tag. Hmm. I'm going to give you a close-up of it, and you all tell me what you think. Because we've had this dress before, and it has never looked this crisp. But then again, everything we got from this person's lot last time was this crisp and like pristine. So. Way in in the comments, do you, do you know why this wouldn't be tagged? Do you know when it's from based on any of this? More bags. The bags say KCO at the bottom of them. I have no idea why. If you know. No, nope, not all of them do. This one says KHAU. Okay. Oh, some people like it, testing their trivia about that. Okay, I'm going to tell you real quickly. KHAU, KCO, KDO, Nothing. No. K N D. No. K N O. And this one does not have a sticker on it. Okay. This does not have Felicity's coin, but it's the little card from it. So it says, Felicity's shiny coin is called a bit, shaped like a piece of pie. It was made, um, I mean, I can read the whole thing, but it's from 1991, and it's the paper and the bag that come with her coin. So if there's a Felicity collector that needs this little piece, just email me. Felicity's garters, same thing. Miss Merriman wove these garters for Felicity, tie them in a pretty bow around her stockings just above the knees. That's cute. Telling you how to put them on her and this next thing so many of you were so kind and you're like I hope this is in that next lot I hope you get this I hope you find this good luck bum, 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 bum. they're perfect I, I feel like a child could not have had this collection and I'm not going to lie, if a child had this collection, I feel a little bit concerned that the child wasn't allowed to play with their toys. Because I'm super grateful that these are, like, brand new. But come on, somebody should have been playing with them. All the pockets! All right, so we have now Kit's hobo outfit overalls, her gardening overalls, the new 
Nikki's skateboard outfit overalls, these overalls, those white review overalls, Blair's shorts, Blair's shorts overalls, the um, Earth Day outfit overalls. What we need, if anybody is just looking for a birthday present to get for me, <laughs> um, I one day I'm going to luck out and get Kit's um, chicken keeping overalls. One day. One day it's going to happen. We already have the chicken, but I want the overalls. I want the outfit. Okay, so that was like a top box within a box, and that's done. Holy crap. Oh, this is nice. In the Agot lot that we got, we got the Skating Star outfit, and it had the hair clip and the actual clothing piece and the um, ice skates, but it didn't have this. So now it does, and now it's complete. And that is a duplicate, so we'll be selling it. Ooh, these are fun things. Felicity's Theater Kit. I think... For the sake of time, I'm not going to take all these out and show every piece. If people are interested in that because they're things they've never seen, I let me know in the comments and I'm willing to do a separate video. But right now I'm just going to show you each thing and I can tell you in general everything looks in good condition. It looks like everything's there. It would surprise me if it's not based on this person's collection so far. So yeah, Felicity's Theater Kit. And Kirsten's cookbook. Make the homemade, make the same homemade butter round Meyer. No. <laughs> Should not do these late at night. So there's a big M for starting the sentence make the. And then the next line says rye bread. And I was like, Meyer bread? Rye bread? Let me try this again. Make the same homemade butter round rye bread and other foods that Kirsten made in 1854. This cookbook is filled with simple to follow recipes, beautiful photographs, and pioneer party tips. <laughs> the party tips you never knew you needed. Maybe we're just gonna have a day of a video of pioneer party tips. <laughs> um, Felicity's craft book, and these are fun. Because we have most of the, like, books, but we don't have a lot of these extra things. In 1774, Felicity learned to make crafts like sachets and pomander balls, or pomander balls. And so can you with this craft book. It's full of fun facts about life in colonial times, step-by-step -step instructions, and rich, full-color photographs. Such as this one. Fun! Kirsten's Theater Kit. You know, in all those Kirsten outfits, what I would have been more excited about was this outfit, the Durndal outfit. What I would have lost my crap over for personal keeping would have been the baking outfit. And what I would have been super excited for to resell would have been the playground recess whatever thing that's like impossible. Anyway, um, Kirsten's theater kit. Star and Home is Where the Heart is, a 20-minute play about Kirsten's journey to America in 1854. This kit includes four play scripts and a director's guide with ideas for costumes, props, set design, and more. And I didn't read the Felicity play one, but it says, Put on your own delightful production of Tea for Felicity, a 20-minute play about Felicity's life in 1774. And then this kit contains four play scripts, blah, blah, blah. Same thing. Samantha's theater kit. Direct and act in Actions Speak Louder Than Words, a 20-minute play about Samantha's life in 1904. It contains all the same elements. You had this one? I got one for the older kiddo from Goodwill, like when she was a kid. And when I was like, I'm going to be homeschooling her for sure. And I was like, that would be so cool. I'm going to, I don't even know about these dolls, but like, it's a play that you can put on at home. Sure. Let's do it. And then we didn't. So I did own it. Had aspirations. Ah, Samantha's paper dolls. Learn about fashions in the early 1900s while you play with Samantha and her 10 outfits. 
put together your own miniature storybook too while you read fun facts about everything from bib collars to bloomers. Wow, you can see the fading right there. I was like, yeah, that's all right. Everything that's in them is protected. Felicity's paper dolls. Cut out Felicity and her 10 outfits. Man, I want them all to have 10 outfits now. Cut out Felicity and her 10 outfits from 1774 and put on a colonial fashion show. Make your own miniature storybook too and read historical notes about everything from pinners to patents. I would learn some things because I don't know what pinners or patents are. And this might be the last of all of those kinds of books. Um, Felicity's Cookbook. A peek at dining in the past with meals you can cook today. Cook the same foods that Felicity loved in 1774. Apple butter. Yes. Raspberry flummery. Who doesn't love some good raspberry flummery? And more. With this cookbook filled with easy to follow. With the full blah, 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 blah. Oh, and colonial party ideas. Eh. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Um, anybody see the shirt I have on? I think we're going to skip the colonial party ideas. <laughs> Just saying. All right. Uh, let's do, no, KBO is the, if you're quizzing yourself on your knowledge of what those little codes meant. Hmm? K, that what's what that means? Oh, gosh. Don't let me open things on no caffeine, apparently. KBO, Kirsten's birthday outfit. Well, now I want to test myself with the other ones. KDO, Kirsten's death day outfit. <laughs> <laughs> My wife finds nope. me funny. No? She humors her. <laughs> My wife humors me. Um, what's her D outfit? I don't, I don't know. Oh, okay. Um, so the St. Lucia outfit, I don't see the um, wreath anywhere, but, and I don't know if the socks are in here, but this is like, un unsurprisingly, not faded, not in bad condition. The, the ribbon looks like brand new. I mean, let me see if I can get this to focus. I can't get myself to focus, much less this thing. Yeah. Twill be for sale. All right. I don't, this looks so tiny next to this. Is this like an undershirt? These are the hair things that go with the St. Lucia thing. St. Lucia like gown. Like Josefina's? Mm -hmm. It's got a little button in the back. One button. I don't know. Grace's maybe Felicity's. You know what? I'm going to say we won't research it between now and then. So please do put the answer in the comments because you all are very, very knowledgeable. KSO summer outfit. Knew that one. Ooh. Okay. I'm okay with selling this, but I want to take a lot of pictures and keep it for a while first. Because this is one that I always want when I see it. Okay. We're keeping one Kirsten thing so far. Her little, is this winter woolens or something? Jeez. The dog is trying to wake the toddler. I never realized that these are like people. I don't know, because whenever you see it, like when somebody's selling it, it's just like tiny. So I'm going to pick a leaf off and then show you up close. Look at that button. Not for any amount of money. Oh, they're all those buttons. Okay. I thought it was just one at the top. One, two, three, four, five super intricate metal buttons. Yeah, don't hold your breath if you think that AG is ever going to do that these days. This is nice. 
I might just keep this, keep this. Sorry, friends. Okay. A-G-B-A. -A. American Girl. Ba. <laughs> don't know. Um, I don't see a thing on that one. Lots of bags. Oh, okay. We're getting in lots of random stuff now. These are less random, so let's do this first. Kirsten's stationery set. Um, it does have the person's name on it. Because this is like glossy, I will very gently see if that wipes off with something. But, um, yeah. I don't think you could read it. Somebody's name. Um, so I'll see if I can get that off. But I've never seen these. So I'm going to just take a little bit of time to show you. Um, American Girl Postcard Collection. And... This is not Kirsten specific, so I don't know if this just got put in here. Because this one seems to be all the girls, I mean all the early girls. Again, if you want to see all of these kind of the media things in more detail, just let me know and I can do a separate video. Notes from Kirsten Larson. There's a Molly postcard. Okay. Definitely not showing you the back of that because it actually has their address on it. I wonder if that's... No, it wouldn't be the same address because the person was selling it for someone. Okay, but some stickers. Those are cute. Some cards that you can fold. Paper, envelopes, stickers, stamps, lined paper. There's all kinds of fun stuff in there. That's cute. I think that um, postcard thing doesn't go in this box. So I'm going to set it out of it. Um, Miss Winston's Reply, a play. Is that from her theater thing? Yeah, because it says what you will need, cast and costumes, props. But I don't know if we got Kirsten's play. Maybe it's underneath the box. Well, anyway, here's one that's clearly not in pristine condition. Put it over there. Shun it. Um, Samantha's box set. This version of the cover. They did not play with these. I mean, read them. They did not read them. Copyright 1986. First edition. Yep. Nice. I don't think that hers is a series we have the box set for, so we will keep that. On my um, reading goals list this year is to read some more of the historical ones. All right, now in no particular order, I'm just bringing things out. So here is Kirsten's little spoon bag, thank you. And her handkerchief. I don't see the spoon. I don't know if there is one in there. Grace is nodding her head, so she's now giving things away. Um, so the spoon bag. We already found the meat dress. And here is her um, bonnet. Now, I've seen one that has, like, stitching around here, like, extra stitching around here on the brim, and then I've seen them where they don't, and this doesn't, and I have no idea what that means if one is before the other, but those of you who are really into the historicals might know. This one does not have that extra stitching. Ooh, her carpet bag. So, let me... The 
leather is not dried out. Everything looks great. Not a thing we're keeping, but I know that people have a hard time finding this. And I don't know if, if when you find it, it's hard to find it in good condition. This one's in excellent condition, but I think it's just hard to find in general. Her, lots of Kirsten stuff, which is odd because the last box, like somewhere there's a lot more stuff because the last box, if you all watched us me unbox that, um, had... A Samantha like tag, Addie, an Addy, a Molly, a Josefina, like they had all of them, but this seems to be mostly Kirsten stuff. You know what? I'm going to pause and call it good for this video because it's getting a little long. So um, please join me for the next video where we continue this unboxing. Bye.